Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I do my extensions using tips and dip powder. And I will also be doing a gel polish manicure on top, featuring a new Manum Glam collaboration. So let's get right into the video. Alright, so here are my clean and prep natural nails. As you can see, they are quite short. And then here is my dominant hand, which I've already applied tips and a gel polish color to, so you can see the difference. And they look super natural, they aren't too long or anything, and they are super easy to create as well. So here are my favorite tips I like to use. They are clear tips from the brand McCart, and I will leave everything I used in this video in the description so you guys can check them out. But basically, I'm going to size up my nails. So the larger the number on the tip, the smaller the size. So the number 9 is the smallest size, which I like to use for my pinky, so I'm just showing you how I would size it up to my nail. So I just take out the tip, make sure it fits from sidewall to sidewall comfortably. And then here are all of the sizes for my nails. So there's the thumb, the pointer nail, middle, ring, and pinky nail. And my favorite glue to use is the IBD brush on glue. And this one works really well for me and it's pretty cheap. So I just apply a small amount in the well of the tip, take it and press it on my nail pretty firmly making sure it is centered and straight. And then I hold it for about 15 to 30 seconds depending on how much glue I applied. Sometimes it takes a little bit less or more time to dry. So I just hold it until it's really stuck firmly. And here you can see that it's really hard and it's not moving around and it's flush with my natural nail. And then I went ahead and applied the rest off camera just to save a bit of time. And as you can see, they are way too long, so I'm going to trim them to be the same length as my other nails. And I just do this using a cuticle nipper. You can also use a nail clipper or a tip cutter. Both will do the exact same thing as this. And I'm just going to cut a little bit longer than I think I need because I will go in with a file to perfect the shape. So you don't want to cut the tips too short here because obviously you cannot make them any longer, but you can make them shorter. Alright, and with that same cuticle nipper, I'm going to go ahead and cut off the corner of the tips. And this is going to make them be a little bit more coffin shape and less of a square, and it just gives a more narrow effect. And like I said, I will be fixing up the shape with a file, so this doesn't need to be perfect. For my file, I like to use a 100 180 grit with the 100 side which is a little bit rougher. And I first like to start about going on the free edge and make it nice and straight. And then I go along both of the side walls and taper them in to get sort of that coffin ballerina shape. And I'm going to do that on all of my nails. Now here I'm going to go a little bit more in depth. So you want to hold the file straight up and down to the edge of the tip to make sure you get a nice clean edge. And then when going in on the sidewalls, I like to slightly tilt my file to get sort of a ballerina shape. And this just makes it a little bit more soft and not as harsh of a line. So here's what that looks like after I've done it on all of my nails. And now I'm taking the 100 side once again, and I'm going over the top of the tip to blend it into my natural nail. So you're basically just taking off the shine here and also thinning down that ridge from the tip to the natural nail just to make sure it is nice and flush and smooth. So you can see the difference here. And then here are all of the nails ready and filed. And I'm just going to brush off any excess dust before the dip powder application. Now I'm using my Sparkle Co pH Prep Liquid. And after buffing the surface of my natural nail, I'm going to apply a layer of this to dehydrate the nail surface. And then I'm going to use my double dip base liquid and my double dip clear powder to actually build up the extension. Now you can use a color here, however I would recommend using a clear to start just to build up some of the structure. So right now I'm taking the brush and applying a thin strip where the tip meets the natural nail and this is going to help to further even out that difference. And then I'm just going to dip into the powder and tap off any excess. And once that's complete, I'm going to brush off any excess powder. And now I'm going to be doing about half of the nail. So I'm going up just slightly above that previous dip, and I'm going to apply it going down towards the tip of the nail, 
and then dip into the powder and tap off any excess. Now, if you were going to go in with a dip powder color, I would say after this dip layer, you would go ahead and switch out the clear with your color to then further build up the nail. However, I would recommend starting off with the clear so you don't use a lot of your color first of all, and also to try and avoid staining on your natural nails. So since I'm just going to use clear for the whole nail, I'm going to brush off any excess from that layer. And now I'm going up about a hairline away from the cuticle and applying the dip base to the rest of the nail, dipping into the powder once again, and tapping off any excess. And this method I find builds up the nicest curve on the nail, and it helps strengthen that apex to make the nails nice and sturdy so they don't bend or break. And obviously, since I am doing quite short extensions, the apex or curve does not need to be super large. Um, if you are doing like super long nails or stiletto nails or anything among that matter, you definitely would want to build up the thickness and apex of the nail more. So it totally depends on your nail length and how strong you want them. So after this layer, I brushed off any excess once again, and now I'm applying the dip base to the entire nail, avoiding the skin around the cuticle area, dipping into the powder, and tapping off any excess. And this is going to be my final layer of dip powder. And after this dip, my nails are the perfect thickness I like, and they are definitely durable for me. So I'm just going to keep repeating this process of applying the base and dipping into the powder, and then I will be right back when I'm going to activate. So here is a quick little look at the curve. You can see it's not super defined, but it does have a really natural line, and I love the beautiful look of these. So now I'm going to go in with my double dip activator to harden up the powder and make it ready for filing. And I applied two generous layers of this to all of the nails and let it dry completely for about two minutes. Now I'm going in with my file one more time, and once again, I'm keeping the file perpendicular to the end of the nail and going back and forth to create a really crisp straight edge. And then once I'm happy with that, I'm going to go on the sidewalls. Now I don't want the file to be perpendicular here because I'm going for more of a ballerina shape. So I tilt it at about 45 degree angle and then go back and forth one more time to create that tapered look. Now the angle of your file will affect the end result of the shape so keep that in mind when you are filing. And then I'm just going to repeat that on my pointer, middle, ring, and pinky nail to make them all the perfect length and shape. Then once I've done the free edge, I'm going to go in on the top of the nail. So first I like to start by filing down towards the tip and this makes sure that the nail is even in all areas and really just accentuates that curve one more time. Then I like to constantly turn my finger just to make sure it looks really nice. And I go in on the very edges just to slightly take down some of that thickness to get a really nice C curve on the nail. And once I'm happy with that, I like to go around the cuticle area. So I angle my file slightly, and here you can kind of see what I'm doing. And I just like to go back and forth once again to really thin down that area and make it flush to the natural nail so that it blends really nicely. And after this, any exposed space that hasn't been filed, I just like to gently go over to make sure the nail is even, and also to make sure that it is buffed and has some slight scratches for the gel to adhere to. And here's what the nail looks like fully filed. It has a beautiful curve and it is really even and smooth. And here is a look at all of the nails after filing. And I'm just going to remove all of the excess dust with my dusting brush. Then I'm going to apply one more layer of activator to make sure all of the new exposed powder is hard. And this is an extra step I just like to do for safe measures. 
And now I'm going into the gel application. So Madam Glam recently partnered up with a charity and this line is to donate to breast cancer research projects. So part of the sales for these pink colors throughout October will be donated to this cause, which I think is a really cool idea. And this collection is called Think Pink and I'm going to promote it here because it is an absolutely amazing thing and I totally want all of you guys to be aware. So here I'm just showing you the different shades of pink I picked out. I wanted to pick out a variety of dark shades, hot pink shades, and light shades as well just to see what they all look like and as you can see they're all absolutely amazing and they have a beautiful cream formula. So I'm going to be going in with the shade called Spring Petals. It's a gorgeous baby pink color and it has a beautiful formula. So I'm going to be applying two coats of this to my extensions. Now I did not apply a gel base coat because it is not necessary since I do have a dip harder base underneath. However, it is an optional step and you definitely could apply it if you prefer that. And I'm going to apply a nice thin layer from cuticle to tip twice to get full opacity. And I honestly have no complaints about these gel colors. They are so amazing to work with. And you guys know by now that Madame Glam has a great gel formula. And I do like to use them on my channel. So I totally recommend you guys check out this cause. It's a great thing to donate to. And the colors are really great. And once I've applied the first coat and I'm happy, I went ahead and cured for 30 seconds. And now I'm just going in with that second coat to get a really beautiful opaque pink color. And after this second coat, I'm going to cure for one more time and then I will be back for the top coat. Now that all of the gel color is on, I'm going to seal in my manicure using my Sparkle & Co gel top coat. This is a no wipe top coat and it has a really beautiful shiny finish and I'm applying one layer to all of my nails and wrapping the free edge to seal in my gel. And I'm going to cure this for 30 seconds once I'm happy with this application. And I actually didn't show cuticle oil application in this video. I'm not really sure why I didn't record it, but I did use my Happy Cuticle Co Halloween pens and I love them so much. They will be linked in my description and I recommend you guys all check them out. The oils are super hydrating and they smell absolutely great. So here is a finished picture of my extensions with no gel polish. You can totally rock them with any shade of dip powder. And then here's what they look like with the gel on top from Madame Glam. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. I know a lot of you requested to see it, so I'm definitely happy to be putting this out, and I hope you guys found it helpful. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe down below, and I will see you in the next one.